Well, his playing days are behind him, but a 74-year-old Duluth man still has a hockey stick in his hands every day. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lortzen shows us the creative way Bob Bell's sticks go from ice time to helping navigate icy sidewalks. Along the shores of Lake Superior, you'll find plenty of hockey history. During the first game ever played here at the DAC in 1966, the UMD Bulldogs defeated their Gopher rivals 8-1. to one. That might be the, the replacement for a national title for an upstart program from Duluth to uh, come in and stick it to the, to the main U. Obviously, we were just a little bit pumped up for this game. Bob Bell was a scrappy player on that team and remains a fan decades later, though getting to games isn't easy thanks to hip and back surgeries. Three back surgeries. In the last one, I've got uh, two rods and 18 screws in my back. So my flexibility and balance are just a tad <laughs> not what they should be. Still thinking like a hockey player, one day Bob got an idea. He took an old stick, once used to chase pucks, and repurposed it for leisurely strolls. When you grab a stick like this, you kind of there's probably a minute or two where you're thinking about your playing days, right? Well, before you turn this sometimes, into a cane. sometimes. <laughs> what he really thinks about is a walking cane that provides balance and comfort. As hockey moved on from wooden sticks to carbon fiber, Bob adjusted too. It works well, and it's lightweight. He cuts. Saws and sands the sticks into something the state of hockey can truly be proud of. When I get more sticks, I make more canes. Bob gives away the finished products to those that need them most. Like a goalie, he's hoping to do some saving of his own in the form of elderly hips and knees. The hockey canes aren't his only creation. One of his neighbors talked him into making a hockey table. They must have brought me 20 or 25 sticks. Maybe it's proof that you can take the man out of the game, but you can't take the game out of the man. Well, I guess what, once it's in your blood, it's hard to get it out. In Duluth, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. I love it. And, and here's one of his sticks. They're really, really light. Have you? Yeah, and, so, and, and you great. can tell he really cares with the finish and what he's doing and put some thought into it. So. Yeah, and yeah. he's always looking for broken sticks. So if you'd like to donate one, just head over to WCCO.com slash links. And they're good to whack people with. Amelia tried it already, <laughs> but don't do that.